Will Smith is the name everyone is talking about following last weekend's Oscars. And we know they are not talking about his win for King Richard, rather his smack of Chris Rock that was heard around the world. Let's get into the celebrities who tried to warn us about Will Smith, but before we do I wanted to shout out our sister channel, Where Are They Now? This channel covers tons of celebrities lives and where they are now after a major downfall or after being out of the spotlight for a long time. We even have a video on Chris Rock if you want to know what happened to him after that slap. Make sure to check it out in the link below. So first up we got Chris Rock. Unless you are living under a rock, you know that Will Smith showed a completely different side of himself to the world at last night's Oscars. While comedian Chris Rock was speaking to the crowd and taking some digs at all the celebrities in the audience, Rock decided to take a jab at Jada Pinkett Smith and I'm very sure he regrets it right now. Chris said quote, Jada, love you, G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, referencing her almost bald head. Because in the movie G.I. Jane, the lead actress Demi Moore has shaved her head. Jada has been open about her struggle with alopecia and she was likely forced to wear her hair this way because she's not able to grow hair completely. Immediately after this joke, Will Smith decided to get up, interrupt the live broadcast, and slap Chris Rock right in the face for millions to see. Chris looked stunned and was not sure exactly how to respond. Will walked back to his seat, then yelled, quote, shut your mouth, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth twice. After this slap, Chris Rock looked completely stunned, having no idea what to do or say. It looked like he was about to clap back and say another harsh joke about Will or his family, but Rock took the high road and decided to stay Stay calm. The internet was set ablaze by this slap, with many not even sure if it was real or just stage 4 publicity. But considering what we've seen in the aftermath, it was 100% real. Although many pointed out that Will actually laughed at the joke moments before deciding to get up and slap Chris Rock. Many fans of Smith have tried to defend his actions, but the overall consensus is that it's never okay to put hands on someone or work out issues with violence, which I completely agree with. Also, we have no idea if Chris Rock even knew that uh, Jada Pinkett Smith had alopecia. It could have just been a big misunderstanding. Next up, William Hendrix. After Will Smith slapped Chris Rock on stage, another one of his attacks was resurfaced. Because this was not the first time that Will lost his temper and his nice guy persona was called into question. In 1989, Smith spent a night in jail after he hurt a man named William Hendrix so badly that Hendrix almost lost his sight. Smith even spent a night in jail because of this incident and has a mugshot because of it. I'm not sure exactly why it happened, but Hendrix was a producer who we can assume worked with Smith. Even more coincidental, this incident happened days after Will won his first grand. Miami. I guess he likes to get into altercations around awards season. The charges were later dropped against Will. Will Smith was 20 years old at the time, and after getting in a verbal argument with his producer, he decided to make things physical. As per the police report, Smith asked his bodyguard, Charles Alston, to quote, attack William Hendricks, who needed six stitches after he fractured his left eye orbit during the altercation. Next up, August Alcina. After the smack heard around the world, old reports that Jada had cheated on Will in the past resurfaced. The pair have spoken about how they are in an open marriage. Marriage, so we're not sure if it was really cheating or not, but Jada admitted she was in an entanglement with rapper August Alsina during a break with her husband. When Will and Jada talked about it on Red Table Talk, Will looked visibly distressed, and the general consensus is that Will wants a monogamous relationship, but Jada wants to be open and see other people. In 2020, August exposed the secret that he'd had a long time affair with Jada while she was married to Smith. Initially, the Smiths denied this, but later admitted that it started when the pair split up briefly. Alsina had been introduced to Jada by her son, Jada at a London music festival in 2015. Insider stated that August became like a member of their family, even going on vacations with them and staying in their mansion. August is 21 years younger than Jada, and he claimed that Smith actually gave his blessing to have an affair with his wife, an allegation that Jada then denied. Will also reported that he had affairs with other women during this time. At one point, he was rumored to have slept with co-star Margot Robbie. Many believe Will's insane reaction to the joke is proof that he is in a toxic relationship with his wife, because he completely embarrassed himself on most likely the biggest night of his life, all because of a bad joke. Many also claim that Will would have rather smacked August, but instead Chris Rock out the brunt of his anger. Vitaly said it. Little known fact is that this is not the first time that Will Smith has smacked a man in public at an award show event. Vitaly said interviewed Will on a red carpet almost a decade ago, and after they had a negative interaction, Will smacked him in the face as well. While being interviewed, the pair hugged when Sadek went to kiss Will on the cheek. Will Smith freaked out, then backhanded him on the face. Although many felt this move was justified at the time, it shows that Smith's first reaction in a negative situation situation is violence. The incident took place at the Moscow opening of Men in Black 3 in May of 2012 while Saduk was working for a Ukrainian television station. After the incident with Chris Rock, Saduk stated, quote, I just immediately recollected the slapping incident in Moscow. I think the joke was inappropriate when it comes to someone's health, but Will's reaction is unnecessary and sends the wrong message to comedians, being hit for a joke. Adding, quote, I don't want to call Will Smith uncontrollable. He has a violent temper. Yes, but I'm sure he realizes what he's doing. The reporter acknowledged that it was a 
a bad joke, and he understands that Will was protecting his family. However, it shows that violence is always Will's first instinct. Scientology After the Chris Rock incident, some started connecting the dots between the bizarre slap and Scientology. This is because the Smiths have been tied to Scientology in the past, and physical punishment is a popular teaching in the church. Apparently, it's a common teaching in Scientology to use slaps and other forms of physical force to show other Scientologists that they've done something wrong. After the slap, one user tweeted, quote, There's a Scientology course, I guess you'd call it, that involves slapping slash physically humiliating fellow Scientologists in a group setting as a means of exerting superiority. It's remarkably common within the cult. The user even shared that Tom Cruise is known to use similar styles of punishment, but instead of hitting, he uses shouting to intimidate movie crews. This makes a ton of sense after what we saw happen on the set of one of Cruise's movies when he felt the COVID protocols were not taken seriously by his staff. The audio heard him screaming at the top of his lungs at his staff, clearly sending a strong message. The Smiths have spent many years battling off accusations that they are involved in Scientology. The couple was apparently introduced to the church in 2004 by Tom Cruise, and they got so involved that the Smith family spent almost $1 million in 2008 to set up a school for the church. The Smiths said they designed the curriculum for the school, but insiders claimed it was based on Scientology. Both Jaden and Willow attended, but the school closed six years later when most of the parents removed their children. Tony Ortega, an expert on Scientology, said that the Smiths left Scientology in 2015 and that Will at least only ever dabbled in it. And finally, Will Smith himself. Will exposed himself in his 2021 memoir, where he revealed his struggles with anger in the past and how he had thought about taking someone's life in the past. In this memoir, he revealed dark secrets from his past, like that his father used to hit his mother, and when he was younger, he was ashamed that he never stepped in to stop him. Apparently, many years later, his father had cancer and was declining rapidly. He was in a wheelchair at the time and was not able to care for himself, so Will thought about taking his father's life to avenge all the horrible things that he did to his mother. Thankfully, Will did not go through with it and took the high road with his father. Will seemed to reference this in his Oscar speech, where he said that a higher power called on him, quote, to love people and to protect people and to be a river to my people. So that's all for the list, guys. Leave me your thoughts below on this Will Smith stuff. Is there anyone that I miss? Is there any other crazy stories you want to share? Please leave them below. But before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from celebrities who were stripped of their Oscars. Diane said, all Will Smith has to do was say, dude, really? That would have been way more classy and it would have made more of a point. I completely agree. Like Will Smith could have actually embarrassed Chris Rock if he went up there. He could have verbally said something or when he was up on stage to uh, accept his award. He could have said like a quick little joke or just said, you know, I support my wife with alopecia. He could have said so many more things and he decided to do that instead. And Elmich said, in my opinion, the Oscars must do something and there should be repercussions. Otherwise, they're condoning violence. Bravo to Chris Rock for not escalating the scenario further. I completely agree. Chris Rock was a class act. You could tell he was like gonna start saying something, but um, he decided not to because it is literally the most prestigious event ever. So, you know what I mean? It's insane. Then someone else said, my opinion of Will Smith is forever changed. I wouldn't want his Oscars stripped, but I wouldn't watch him in anything else. I completely agree. I don't think he'll get his Oscars stripped. I do hope something happens. Um, but yeah, I've my opinion of him has completely changed. Then someone else said, I didn't realize until last year that nominees submit themselves to win an Oscar. That's weird to me. I didn't know that. Is that true? I mean, I, I think it's not necessarily themselves. I think it's the movie more so and like the producers of the movie because Will Smith winning for King Richard just gets more promotion for King Richard, the actual movie. So it's probably a bit of both. All right, guys, that is all for the list today. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and we'll catch you in the next one.